so I wanted to get this party season uh, kick started with a really festive glam makeup look so I'm gonna start with my eyes first of all I've got my brows already done as usual and um, but I'm just taking this Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo in the shade permanent taupe as an eyeshadow base and this is just going to go over the lid only then I've got uh, makeup geeks creme brulee eyeshadow and this is just going to go in the crease and a little bit above it as our transitional colour and I'm just blending that through there as you can see. I love this just because all the other eyeshadows are going to blend into this shade um, and it's kind of just a distant one in the background which you can't really see. Then I've got Uninterrupted by MAC which is slightly a bit more warmer um, and this is just going to go um, a little bit heavier in the crease uh, again a background color but we want to be able to see it so then I've got my BH Cosmetics uh, 28 matte eyeshadow palette and taking these two purpley kind of eyeshadows and this is also just going to go through the crease you can actually skip this step just because I felt like the eyeshadows weren't doing what I wanted them to do for this look so I switched it up to my Urban Decay uh, electric palette and took the shade Jilted and I took that through the crease so you could just do that one instead and this like I said is just going through the crease and I'm applying this one quite heavily we really want to be able to see this gorgeous pinky purpley kind of shade bear in mind this look is kind of going to look awful right until the end um, it just is it's one big hot mess until the end um, and then I've got the eyeshadow sketch by MAC and this is also going to go in the crease but a little bit below that pink shade um, so we're just making the shades get a bit deeper and darker um, as we build them up and I know that there's a lot of eyeshadows in this look but honestly you'll see and understand why when you see the finished look um, so you just want to keep building and blending and then I'm taking the shade Embark from MAC which is a really gorgeous deep brown and this is just going to go over the top of that so again on the outer corner of the eye and through the crease and you just want to again keep building it up and blending it out we don't want to take this colour too high up so just want to really really keep it concentrated on the outer corner and crease now for the absolute showstopper of this makeup look, it's Max Blue Brown Pigment which is an absolute classic and it's gorgeous um, for the party season kind of makeup look. Um, so I've sprayed my brush with some Fix Plus spray um, and then I'm just applying this pigment on my eyelid only and on the inner corner and on the centre of the eye. We're not taking this on the outer corner just because we've already built up those darker shades on the outer corner and you will just gradually fade it into that and with your brush being wet it just intensifies the pigment so much more and as you can see it's amazing then you just want to take any black eyeshadow that you have and you just want to build that up onto the outer corner um, and take it slightly through the crease and I'm using a really nice and tapered blending brush to do this to get a bit more precision when doing so you kind of want to cut the crease a little bit but it's not going to be like a sharp cut crease or anything like that then for gel liner, I've got my Maybelline gel liner in the shade black and I'm just creating a nice winged liner with this. If you'd love to know more details on how to create a winged liner, I have done a tutorial on it in my Back to Basic series um, and I can link it down below in the description box for you as well. So then we're just going to move on to the skin and I've got my current favourite foundation at the moment and it's Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I will leave all the shades and everything down below for you as well but this is just an absolute dream to blend in and it's so long lasting so perfect for party season. Then for under eye concealer I've got my LA Girl Pro Conceal and my Maybelline uh, Age Rewind Concealer to highlight so the LA Girl one goes on first and then the Maybelline one goes on over the top of that to highlight under the eyes also down the bridge of my nose uh, on my forehead on my cupid's bow and just below my contour would be as well once that's all on all you have to do is just blend 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 and make sure that there is no harsh lines And then going to set 
the highlighted areas of my face only using my Ben Nye Banana Powder. I love this stuff. I've used it in nearly all of my tutorials. Um, and yeah, it just stays on. And then to set the rest of my face makeup, I'm using my MAC Mineralize Loose Powder which is like my secret to flawless looking skin and I'm obviously shaking it about to get the product out um, and then yeah this is just going all over the rest of my face and I love this stuff it gives me a teeny bit of coverage um, but it just helps my makeup stay in put too Moving back onto the eyes now, I'm just applying the same eyeshadows that I applied in my crease just onto my lower lash line. So I'm starting off with that pinky purple from the Urban Decay palette, then Sketch from uh, my MAC um, eyeshadows and then Embark. And then I'm just taking a little bit of a black eyeshadow um, re really close to my lash line, sorry, to create more depth. And then I'm just going to blend that all out um, and make sure it's nice and smoky and blown out. And then I'm applying some mascara and this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And for false lashes I am applying my Huda Beauty Samantha Lashes. These are absolutely gorgeous once they're on but I'm not going to lie, they're a little bit of a pain to put on. And then just to complete the eyes I'm just taking a black coal liner in my inner waterline. Moving back onto the face, I'm using my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess in the shade Deep and this is just to warm up the skin and this is just going to go on my cheeks and also on my temples as well and honestly, it's the best bronzer I've ever used. I'm still on the hunt for a new one. <laughs> um, and then to contour, I've got my Maybelline Contour Kit right here um, and this is in the shade Medium Dark. I absolutely love this, it's amazing. So this is going to go in the hollows of your cheeks, uh, on the temples and also also down the bridge of your nose as well if you want to slim it out like I do um, and then of course to highlight I've got my MAC Oh Darling um, highlighter very 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 similar to Anastasia Beverly Hills um, So Hollywood so if you can't get a hold of this one then get that one but I'm applying my highlighter quite heavily just because I love it um, and then for blush I've got MAC in the shade Gingerly. It's such a gorgeous kind of subtle blusher. I wanted to use something subtle so it kind of doesn't take away anything from the eye makeup. When you've got heavy eyes like this, it's best to just kind of like tone down the cheeks um, and maybe go for a strong lip if you want. But I'm gonna go for nude and I've got my nude lip liner in the shade Cappuccino by Rimmel and I'm just lining my lips with this and then I'm applying a Kate Moss lipstick which I will leave the shade of down below in the description box for you because I can't remember right now but I'm just applying this all over my lips and this is such a gorgeous like combination I actually remembered it from my nude lips video which if you haven't seen I'll link down below um, but yeah I completely forgot about this combination um, and then I'm just going back over with my liner to just reinforce um, the shape and I love doing that with nude lipstick and then just finishing off with some Fix Plus spray and this is the finished look guys I really hope you love this makeup. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye.